Hey, what's up, guys? I'm meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Weather Savants Tuesday. So what we're going to do today, because we don't have any immediate threat of severe weather, we are going to look at our next storm system, which does roll in later on this week. And then we're going to do a little bit of long-range forecasting so you can kind of prepare for the rest of the month and then into the beginning of uh, May. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Weather's fantastic. Seems like every time I do these on Tuesdays, right when uh, the trash man wants to come through. But huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction. It is severe weather season, so you want to make sure you find these guys. They are a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and operated in Joplin, but licensed through the four-state area. They did my roof last uh, fall. Uh, of course, I trust them, so keep that number. The number's right there on your screen because we are going to have several events, at least with the potential for severe weather around the region as we go through the next two months. Uh, we're in the heart of severe weather season. Of course, May is usually our bigger month, but not always. But April so far has been active. We've actually had, so when I talk about a severe weather event, that means do we have severe weather warnings in the four state area uh, my local area and we've already done it six times this year which is kind of crazy so we're starting out active we're going to end active uh, so let's go through it let's take it first off not much is going on today it's just a beautiful day the system that gave us thunderstorms is going to hang out along the gulf coast uh, for the next couple days and we're waiting for this system which is going to roll in by the time we head into Friday. So let's quickly glance at the next couple days, and then we're going to get into severe weather. So look at this. Mid-70s to lower 80s once you get out across central, western parts of Kansas today. Uh, we got some cumulus clouds out there, but in general, it looks good. We drop back lower 50s by morning. Wednesday looks fantastic. Mid to upper 70s again, 78 Kansas City. Look at Dodge, 85, 75, Oak City. 77 in Little Rock. Even Thursday, we do start to get some clouds from that system on the Gulf Coast on Thursday afternoon, but still another great day. Upper 70s to near 80, 80 KC, 77 in Springfield, Tulsa 77, Wichita up to about 81 degrees. So uh, that's kind of what we're watching for the next couple of days. Now we do have a hot spot for severe weather as we go into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. I'm going to put the, the highest threat, which is at least an elevated threat, kind of Texarkana to Shreveport, maybe the east side of the metro of Dallas, but this extends north, northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Bentonville, Joplin's kind of on the edge, Pittsburgh, Chanute, Bartlesville, Tulsa. Um, <clears throat> so this is what we're going to be watching for Friday evening, in Friday night. As we get closer, this threat may go up a little bit. It all kind of depends. Can we bust through the cap? In fact, uh, let me show you kind of what I'm looking at. So we're going to look at a little bit of raw data. So we are going into Friday morning. Let me put it, uh, let's see here. And then let's go into Friday afternoon and evening. So this is where it's interesting. We have a cold front thunderstorms eastern parts of Nebraska. Most of those storms are going to be post-frontal. There could be a little bit of a severe threat southeastern parts of Nebraska, but there's a dry line right through central Oklahoma. So if it can get through the cap, we're going to get some strong supercells that pop up eastern Oklahoma into northeastern Texas, and we'll have to see if we can get some into southeastern Kansas and then also southwestern Missouri. So that is our next threat that we want to keep our eyes on. Remember, these are models uh, don't look at it and say, oh, that's right where the storms are going to be because it, that's not the case. All right, next threat I want to keep my eyes on is going to be, let's see here, next Tuesday and Wednesday. Let me show you this. So we have a, a kind of a short wave that kicks out and we have a warm front across the region and we'll most likely get thunderstorms that fire along the front so southeast Kansas, southwest Missouri, central Oklahoma, we need to watch that event as that could give us a severe threat next Tuesday. So let's go back to the long range forecast and I'll kind of show you what I'm looking at here. I'm going to go here. All right, let's look at the dates that we want to keep our eyes on because April, the second half of April, gets really active. Of course, we're watching Friday. So we kind of went over that. 
next Tuesday and Wednesday. We talked about that. Now, there's a lower threat for severe weather. So in the pattern, we've gone through several cycles. So in some cycles, it looks like it could produce some thunderstorms and severe weather. Some cycles, it doesn't look as big. So I want to watch next Friday, Saturday, but it's a lower severe threat. So I'm not very concerned about that. Now, then it gets real active. So right after that, so we're talking uh, the 23rd, which I think is a Sunday. Let me look here. Uh, yes, 23rd is a Sunday. So that Sunday through Tuesday, we're going to have an event that most likely will give us severe weather. And then there's a second event later on that week, which is thir uh, Thursday the 27th, Friday the 28th, Saturday the 29th. Now, I put draft in there because the Kansas City Chiefs and Kansas City are having draft day or draft weekend in Kansas City. And a lot of it is outdoors. And of course, there is a severe threat. So that's what we're kind of looking on over the next couple of weeks. I do have the long range forecast for all of May as well. Uh, and we'll get into that when we get a little bit closer. But the beginning of May is active. A little bit of a lull. The end of May is active. So we're, we're going to have tons of severe weather events as we go through about the next eight weeks or so. Uh, of course, make sure if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Um, on our next Weather Savants video, we'll probably start focusing in on what's Friday going to do and what next Tuesday is going to do. And if you guys want to see the long range forecast for May, just let me know and I'll throw it in there as well. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the weather. Enjoy the afternoon. I'll be on KOAM News tonight, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Make sure you always have our Skywatch weather app as well. It's free and um, handy to have with active weather. All right, guys, talk soon.